Hey, this is that project I'm doing. It's this Lego thing. Lego spells Lego. It looks quite cool. It's taking like 10 hours to render or something. Just like taking over. No, it's taking over 20 hours just to render half of it. It's a bit of a pain. Um. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you've saved it. You wanna find? Actually, no. Um, you wanna go file merge in cinema and search and find where you saved a spline glitch or whatever you call the spline, and just make it on their scale one. Okay, so should be able to yeah so click on that then click on the move tool and you want to zero everything out so the coordinates press zero on the position and then hit apply go to thingy and they see it's got fairly the right dimensions for the actual spine which is I'm quite happy about so just save it save as Spine top glitch. Oops. Help. Uh, yeah. Helps to save stuff with the same name. So like After Effects projects, Cinema 4D projects. If you got them with the all same. If you got them with all the same name. It'll be a lot easier to know what they were. And if you're ever gonna need them again. Okay. So once you've done that, I'm gonna look back in here. They've got it all like. Um. Nice extrude nerved on it, so it's just got the outline of the shape. So you just have like, the outline there to do that. I think what they done was, yeah, what they done. Uh, hold Alt on the null object on your thing, and go in the hypernerve tab. Hit extrude nerves. No, actually, well, yeah, hit extrude nerves, and then. In the area tab, Oops. hold Alt again, and you're gonna get a. Is it spine left? No, you wanna get a sweep nerves in the uh, extrude nerves tab, and hold keep an old and alt, and then get a rectangle, and drag the rectangle. It's just drop it for now. Drag that rectangle above the uh, spine glitch thing, and that will be it, the profile. I think it is. Um, and go next to your nerves, click hierarchy. And I don't think, and like nothing, oh wait, yeah, something has happened. It's just done that, so let's grab that, push it through, get back in the other view. Probably should have got out of the camera. But yeah, and then go in the rectangle, drop everything down to about two so you can see it better. I think I'm doing it right. Or is it the other way around? Don't know, it's quite confusing. Right, just duplicate the null object. But like I said before, I'm just doing off the top of my head. So let's just tear everything off. And on that spine glitch, hit C on the keyboard, select children, C again, and then connect and delete. There you go. You want to have it as one spine and drag the rectangle above it. So you just got like a tiny little outline, as you can see. And then you want to bump up the width of the rectangles just before they start intersecting and bump up the height about there. So we go in there, as you can see, it's you've got them, the kind of bevel, you know, bevel kind of uh, extruded spline there. Um, I'll be I'm working off the top of my head, so if it goes wrong, I won't know that much how to fix it, or at least take me a while to figure out how to fix it. Anyway. Um, let's see if I can extrude it inwards. Rounding. 
Let's see if he had one. No, he had fairly. Actually, just round it then. Yeah, hit rounding on the rectangle and then put the radius to about three. Something cool like that. And I've done I've done them a bit close. It's not that bad because it's just a tutorial. But still, if you want it perfect, you can always redo the um, spline. Uh, and we should have done that. Do the height a bit more, I think. And right. And yeah, just keep the angle at five. I'm just gonna check all the intermediate points, see if they do anything nicer. Nah, keep it, keep it like that. So just keep it as adaptive. I think it was one. And as you can see, we've got some cool settings of uh, sweep nerves, as we can like start the end growth and stuff like that. So they also like draw in like that. But well, that's not really what we want. So just keep it, keep it as hundred, and we've basically got the outline of that. His looks a lot nicer because he's probably a professional and had. A long time of doing it but I'm gonna try and keep this under two hours which is a really long time but trust me I'll probably end up filling it up um okay so let's just save it control s uh we want to start working on the middle bits now just to do that just press control c and control v when you clicked on the extrude nibs Drop it down and pull both those things out. Delete this spine and delete the. Uh, wait, actually, delete, delete everything else. Just keep the extrude nerves. Then put the uh, null object that we duplicated back in this. <coughs> sorry, back in this one. Uh, and turn it all back on. So now I got this. And you want to pull them back a bit. Yeah, you want to pull it back a bit so it's underneath. Then, what um, I told you is to duplicate it because uh, if you have just a singular spine, if you move it, they'll all move. But if you have them as separate spines, so you have this one. You could do it. We have a cool effect. This is like popping in and out and stuff like that, which might look quite nice. And we'll also be able to add separate textures to them. You could do that anyway, but I think it might take a little bit longer. Right. So, so we've done that. We're gonna look at it. I'm not gonna play around the lighting just yet. Like it'll take us just a bit longer. And as you can see, he's got it. Like the camera sort of camera angle he's on is like this so it's panning across all the things uh taking a good look at how deep it is and stuff like that which is quite nice but just keep it central for the time being okay so he's got a uh, light he's got like lights lights on like he's got lines in the middle which uh, I might add just because he's got that effect where you can see him moving like that which is really nice but it'll take a lot longer so yeah go on then I'll have him uh, how we done that was well, just simple spine masking well it's not really simple but uh, yeah I think we might have to have an extrude nerves for every single path or just make it as a singular thing, but then it won't, then it'll start going dead weird. So I think we'll do it for each singular path. So you want to get a spine mask and we want to get, we want to get a few rectangles. So let's just turn everything off so you can just see, just see the rectangle. Uh, 
like that. Turn everything else so you can just see the rectangle. What we're going to want to do, uh, make the rectangle width a lot longer. And as you can see, like quite thin. So what it is, is that's how thin the rectangle is because it's cut out of the actual extruded shape. And they've got it so it's animating across, if that made any sense. Uh, so just bring, like, push it out, bring the height down to about there, 29. Could add rounding. I'm not sure that'll do that much difference. Let's just see. No, it's not doing a lot of difference. Let's just keep rounding on for the hell of it. Uh, you want to put the angle to zero, so it'll be a lot neater. And then just duplicate it. So you go and press F4 for the front view. Shut the camera. Um, and duplicate it for like every. I think every four might be alright. So you can see the line. Wait, you should move that one up. You can see the lines at the very like sitting on the x axis, the red arrow. I'm gonna move up four, so one, two, three, four. I think that might be enough. But we're gonna do like a lot more of these. So let's just turn this no. Is it the, yeah, let's just turn this back on. And Get these pushing forward. I think four is a little bit too big. Let's just have them two apart. And you could also you could always do it like a lot slower or a lot faster. So two apart. Let's drag this one down. Use one, two, and then just Control C, Control V. Drag those two new ones up. About two. Then highlight all of them again. Control, Control C, Control V, and drag the four new ones. Two up. Then Control C, Control V. As as you can see, we're getting a lot. We're doing a lot more than just doing two at a time, which is a pretty good way. We're gonna stop probably after this next one because. As you can see in the actual video, they go pretty quick, and so that means they'll have a lot of things actually there. As you can see, it's pretty big. Let's drag it onto the next one. It'll be even more bigger. So one, two, okay. So yeah, that's how big you wanna I'm not gonna do like them closest together, which is what I've done some in some uh videos, how they just like swoop in. But uh no, just gonna keep it evenly spaced. So you just hit Alt Alt G uh while all of them are selecting it'll create a null object. Let's just duplicate the null object. Oops. Du oh no, well no, right. Get the null object, call this blank spline or whatever. Um, and you want to drag that, uh, you want to drag a blank spline point one down and turn all of them off. And keep that one open. Then press Control C. No, no, sorry. Then just press C. And then select children to see again. Select children. Connect and delete. And then you'll be ended up with one spine. You can't move them separately. So once you've done that one, uh, you, you want to get the spine mask that we had before. Drop it into a extrude like, nibs, would it? No, it's just it's getting a bit confusing now. Let's um, get a spine mask, drop it into there, and all the, and each spine, like this, yeah, actually, I don't know, 
Um, you want to get spine mass, drop it under the extrude nerves that uh, had all the uh, that just had the spine spines in with all the child underneath. So let's just call this ball ball nerves, whatever. Just so it doesn't get confusing along the way. And let's call this out one nerves. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm just keep on checking that I'm recording because last time uh, <laughs> I clicked the wrong button and stopped recording for all of it, and it's pretty annoying. <clears throat> okay, so once you once you've done that, um, you want to get the ball nerves and drop drop um every path into it so you're gonna have to duplicate it 15 times or well, duplicate it 14 times and then drop a path in it but do it as I go along because it will get incredibly confusing if you don't. Um, okay so let's find where the path which dropped in is and it is here. What you want to do is go on the spine mask pull the extra produce back up um, and you want to do a subtract B. Oh, you want to enable the uh, nerves and everything. And I can extrude it. So let's see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's a bit weird. Let's just just try try finding stuff. Just I don't know why it's not making any difference. Um okay let's just turn it off. Yeah, it, it's it's meant to be like that. So you just have it so it's a will shape. You go on the spine mask, a union B, it's curl shape of that. A subtract B. It's bored it. So this is what we're gonna want, a subtract B with the path one above the blank spine. You got B subtract A, so that's curl shape of the path blank spine and A inset B so all the path spine all oh, path spines all the um, blank spines are are in their path spine so yeah let's just keep it as A subtract B um okay so we've got that let's just leave the uh the ones blank for now let me leave the ball the ball nerves uh, blank now now anyway uh, and just keep on dragging it down until it says right. keep on dragging it down until it says you have uh, f uh, 14 well until it says you have 0.14 anyway. right, it says 15 there now what we're gonna do is open up all of them and change every path that was in it so do you want to change path one and put path three there? And change path one for there. And try and close them as you're doing it because get quite annoying. And try and keep the tabs on which one you just done. Um, path one, path five there. Six. Seven. Path eight. It's kind of a tedious process, but I don't think there'll be a easy way of doing this unless you like play around with Espresso, which I don't even think you've built a make this in Expresso but wait well, you'll be able to make some of it in Expresso but you won't be able to fill them up in Expresso I don't think. So path eleven path one twelve and delete path one path thirteen 